Imagine waiting 25 years to reach your goal. That's more than two decades of tears, fear, and community support, all to achieve U.S. citizenship. A local woman's journey took her from Mexico to New York to her chosen home here in New Mexico. Julie Frendak sat down with her as her journey finally comes to a close. Julie, this is a, a, a just a peek into what so many immigrants experience when they come to America. Yeah, it is. Her family chose to come to America for better opportunity in the late 90s. In her 32 years, she's gone in and out of DACA. She's been considered a dreamer and spent a significant time undocumented all leading up to this week. The piece, Ana Yarida Pareseo Calderon, finds at the edge of a tingly beach lake. And then this is just a waiting game. Feels like a privilege. No one in my family fishes, just something that I've always been intrigued by and just kind of had to teach myself how to do. Ana, who goes by Yayo, and her family's story starts beyond our southern border. So I was born in northern Mexico in Hermosillo, Sonora, so only 11 hours away from here. Her parents moved there from another Mexican town to try to build a better life for themselves. My parents grew up insanely poor. Um, and so they moved us to Hermosillo, where at the time it was a very small city, but it was growing. But not quite growing fast enough. On Yayo's seventh birthday, March 3rd, 1999, her parents offered her and her two sisters the ultimate opportunity. We're going to move you to the capital of the world. And so they moved us to New York. They didn't know the language, the food, or another person beyond Yayo's uncle. But that quickly changed. We started going to church. There was nuns there who knew who we were. They knew we were coming. Um, and they tutored us every single day. She credits those nuns for how she sounds today. But if I read something out loud, somehow my accent comes out a little bit. Yeah. Honestly, I wish it came, it came out more. I think it's really cute, but it is what <laughs> it is. During her 23 years in New York, her immigration status changed many times. We moved here with privilege, so we had a family visa. Uh, we overstayed our visa, were undocumented. She got DACA around the time she was 21, known as Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Former President Barack Obama passed it in 2012, allowing certain immigrants to get work permits, including Yayo. As soon as that happened, I got my work permit, and I think I started working at PetSmart because I love animals, and I was like, let me just do this for fun. She lost it when former President Trump took office. I was frightened. I was scared. I said, here we go. Then came her marriage, a green card, a divorce, and more fear over the next few years. Being undocumented, you're always thinking of polar ends. The really, really good or the really, really bad. There's never been space for the in-between. But she made space when she planned her next move, both physically and in her citizenship journey. I backpacked New Mexico in October, November 2020. And almost as soon as I landed, even just in the airport, I was like, wait a second, something here feels really good. She started working for CYFD and found a new sense of family during a meal at the pharmacy in Knob Hill. I said, do you need any cooks? And he kind of looks at me like, well, actually, yes. Migos, 30 seconds. She worked in pharmacy's kitchen part time for months and leaned on them during her next hurdle last fall. I submitted my final documentation to apply for citizenship. And donations came pouring in after the owner of the pharmacy set up a GoFundMe page in Yayo's name. I don't know how I could ever feel like I can pay that back because what you've done for me is a lifelong change that can never be repaid. She says that $3,200 pushed her over the finish line to citizenship. Once I get past this, this is over, this 25-year journey of this back and forth, happiness, sadness, happiness, sadness, will officially end. And I can just take the largest, deepest breath I could ever take in my life. Safely in her happy place, at the edge of a tingly beach lake. Yayo's naturalization ceremony is set for this Saturday. She says the real privilege that will come with citizenship is the ability to go back and forth to Mexico with no fear.